Hey guys, welcome back to Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 B Generation. This is TJ, your gamer girl, signing on. So, as you can see, I did a lot of grinding. Noir and Vert are, the, are uh, in the uh, low 90s. I don't use red, but, you know. <laughs> She's my highest character, surprisingly. Like, very surprisingly. Anyway, in the last episode, there was a bunch of events. The children got kidnapped. Um... And we rescued... Comp... Well, actually, um... Why don't you let Compa go? And... We had to beat up Noir... Not Noir, Arfar. Arfar to get IF back. Um, unfortunately, Plutia, in her HDD form, went a bit too far and, um traumatized little iffy so um we're here we're actually here in lane box what new because there's some there's an event with cc2 and once we're done with the mandatory event with planet tune there'll probably be some events there too so yes i invited you here today because i wish to know more about you cyber connect 2 but now that we're face to face, I'm troubled with what to talk about. Oh, you don't have to hold back. You can ask me anything, Lady Bird. Hmm. I know. Are there any games you're playing right now? Right now? I'm playing action games and online games, mostly. A surprising response. What sort of online games? Four Goddesses Online takes a lot of my time. That's probably the major one. You're playing Four Goddesses Online? What a coincidence! I am as well. What is your character called? Please send me a friend request. I'm called CC2. If I'm sure if you search for it, you'll find it. Here we go. This was the event. This was what I was thinking was gonna happen. Are you by chance CC2 of the GFF Guild? Yes, but how do you know? It? I know it because the guild that you recently had a raid battle with was my own. What? Then is Cross Green Heart Cross you, Lady Vert? <laughs> Are you surprised? I thought it might be possible, but to think it was really you, Lady Vert. Even so, just remembering that battle, it was so very fierce. That must be what they mean by a battle that lingers with you, even with you, even when you lose. It was the first time I've ever had such a burning hot battle myself. Speaking of your character, speaking of your character is super resilient, Lady Bert. It's all top tier equipment, isn't it? It isn't just that. I've enhanced all of them to the highest rank. I know. There's going to be a third year anniversary event in of Four Goddesses Online. But would you like to go with me? It is just too lonely for a girl to go by herself, and I was looking for someone who would come with. I haven't had interest in that before, but I might but I might want to go if it's with you, Lady Bert. <laughs> this pleases me greatly. From now on, we are gaming comrades. Uh, that was actually pretty sweet. Right, on to Planeptune! It appears the CPUs are all out and about. But how should I lure that one away? Hmm... I don't want to play inside! I want to run around in the sun! Hey, stop! Lady Plutia will get angry at us! Uh-oh! P ran outside! Lucky me! That saves me the trouble! Hello there, my little lady. May I speak with you for a moment? Huh? Wow, a cool robot! That's awesome! You're really cool and awesome, Mr. Robot Guy! <laughs> Why, thank you. Although I'd prefer if you... Although I would prefer it if you would call me Miss Robot Lady. Lady! Aren't you a man? Huh? You're a girl? Whoopsies! Let's cut the chit-chat. I'm not sure if you're the one that Ray had taken, but... Mind if I peep into your memories, young lady? Huh? P 
Peachy? Oh, Peachy? Huh? Good, I found you. Please refrain from venturing outside without permission. Ugh. Did I fall asleep? Why? I wish to pose the same question. I and the Compa are both worried. Let us return to the Basilicom. Huh? Dear me, it would seem my lovely Ray went and hid something shocking. I will ask her about it later. Afterwards, I'll think of a way to get the ball rolling, so to speak. <laughs> I'm about to get busy. Plute! Hey, Plute! Yes? What is it, Pishi? My stuffed animal's leg came off. Fix it! Wow, again? Pishi, you're so rough with your stuffed animal. Look who's talking! You use yours as a weapon! It's not my fault! The stuffed animal's too weak! Don't say that! Um... Maybe I need to make one using thicker thread. No! I like this one! Oh? But the new one will be so much prettier! It's cause you fixed this one tons of times! So it's got a lot of plute stuffed inside it! Wow... So it has a lot of me inside of it? Uh-huh. See? In here. As usual, Pico is speaking is using some mysterious lost language. I can kind of understand what she's trying to say though. Well, okay. I'll do my best to fix this one up for you. Yay! Fix it! But um if a lot of me is in it, try to take better care of it. I said it wasn't my fault. It's too weak. Yep, oh, there's the stuffed doll. Do we have everything? I don't know. Nip station time! Hello, everyone. Today's news will be delivered by Vert and myself. Yes, us two great sisters of Lean Box who love each other very much will present today's top stories. Please stop saying things like that! <laughs> Your reactions are so cute that I cannot help myself. Let us continue. Okay, Vert, please read the first headline. Of course, I have quite the scoop. I have learned of a cheat that allows you to play rock, paper, strippers in this very game. Huh? Rock, paper, strippers? Yes, rock, paper, strippers. There is a mode in this game, currently in the player's hands, where Rock Paper Strippers is accessible. Your opponent is Nepgear, and each time you win, she will peel off her clothes layer by layer. What? I was never told about that! If you had, it wouldn't be much of a cheat, now would it? We are in the midst of learning how to unlock it. And soon, as we figure it out, we will let her eager fans know. No! You can't ever ever tell them! All right, Nepgear, please read the, read the next headline. Uh, we're moving on. Okay, Planetune has decided to distribute cell phones to kids. Uh, probably not a good idea to do it to, P to do it with Pishi. She just broke hers. The other day, a kidnapping occurred in Planetune's Basilicom. To prevent for further such incidents, to prevent such further incidents is probably the right way to put to put it. All children are now equipped with an emergency cell phone. That is a decent idea. But can such young children even use cell phones properly? Well, IF probably could. Um, one of the three children surveyed, surveyed one mastered its functions. Um, of the three children surveyed, one mastered its functions, but the second child grew bored of it, and the third child broke it in a matter of hours. That is how the cookie crumbles. Now, for today's final headline. To apologize for the hacking incident, Last Station plans to distri distribute select games for free. Last Station recently recovered from a hacking attack that affected the entire nation's online network. This actually happened with PlayStation. And, um... I think we got two out of the three games they offered. They decided to offer select... 
select game titles for free as a way to apologize. That's a nice idea. How like Noir? However, the games they have chosen are of suspect quality, or do not seem to be worthwhile downloads. Well, Little Big Planet's fun. And Brian and I had fun with the top down zombie shooter. The atmosphere within her nation is rather awkward right now. I is that so? It's also very like Noir. That is all for today. Please look forward to next time. Bert! Bert! Oh, what is it? Why is your face such a bright color? Please read this now! Read what? What is this? What is it? Let me read it. I have a regrettable follow up to a new story we covered. The rumor of a cheat allowing one to access rock paper strippers has been outed as false information. So it was a lie! So that minigame doesn't exist? Yes, how unfortunate. No, it's very fortunate for me. Phew, thank goodness. We deeply apologize for reporting on an unverified rumor. In the future, we will be vigilant not to repeat the same mistake. Um, I need to apologize too. I'm sorry. How to compensate our viewers? Ah, I shall take responsibility for this and engage in a real game of rock, paper, strippers with Nipgear. Okay, a real game of- What? Oh, what are you saying? That wraps things up for today. We will let you know the results of our match next time. No way. There's definitely no way we're playing that game. Oh my. Right. Uh, this is the Wallet Crusher, right? What a crusher nip is back, y'all! With our exhilarating lineup, you'll be on the road to bankruptcy in no time flat! I'll be presenting our wonderful product with Neptune today. Here's today's product! Ta-da! Dagoo-shaped meat buns! We call them plump doggets. Did you just blow me off? Nah, that's just your insecurity. I thought, geez, no washer pops up a lot lately. That's not true! This is only my second time, isn't it? Mm, never mind. Second time with Neptune or second time, period? These have dagu faces on them, so it gets gory during the eating bit. These make funny faces, too. Right. Huh. Um, Noir? Hmm. These are way too cute. Noir? Noir? Noir! No! I can never eat such an adorable little snack! Wow, it finally happened. Are you trying to appeal to new fans by acting like a cutesy moe girl? No, that's not it at all. I mean, you slaughter the real deal and battle every Dean Don day. But uh, that's because they attack me. This one's just sitting here, begging you not to eat it. Ah, uh, it's food. Food is meant to be eaten. Okay then. Gah, when I rip it in half, its brain zoos out like soup. Hey, don't word it like that. And then I do this. Rip out the eyeballs and then fill out the holes with delicious ketchup. Ugh. No, I can't eat it because that's disgusting. Huh? It's not that bad. What's disgusting about ketchup? Oh, yeah, this is the... Oh, yeah, this is starting to look like a torture movie snack. The production staff all enjoyed their plump dog meat buns after this broadcast. Delicious. Oh, I forgot about the bulk sale. Eat these to restore your HP and give your intelligence data boost. Buy them up, consumer market. I don't have enough. Sorry. <laughs> I uh, went on. I bought a lot of important items before starting the recording, so... <laughs> I'm a little short on cash! Million up quiz time! Million up quiz! It's the quiz show that isn't stuck in a rat or anything. It's our fifth episode! Huzzah! Bleh. I know, but we can't quit right in the middle. We'll bust this quiz out even by force if we gotta. Come on, Pluty, get it together! Let's go! First question! What is my favorite food? Pudding. 
dingly do. Second, which of this kids, which of these kids was not cared for in our basilica? Uh, Deco. I'm not sure if that's whatever. Third, who is the self-proclaimed idol of the Seven Sages? Abnus. That's it, everyone. This show's pretty easy to do since we have a strict deadline to keep. Sadie's petulant apathy is growing. I kind of wonder how blessed she can get. I kind of want to wait and see, but... Bleh. She's going for the blade gold. That's it for now, so later! <laughs> Nepgear, Nepgear, P, P, uh, Pishi, Fuck, uh, the, 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 Okay, I'll go through this stuff first. <sighs> okay, Falcom, Red, Tekken... Oh, Red! It's been a while since you've had an event! Tekken, Broccoli, Mages... Okay. Red hasn't had an event since she joined! Like, seriously! Right? Could be mistaken. But I'm pretty sure... Oh! Still was back! Yes, we did it. Uh -huh. Here. Cool. All right. First event. Uh, Neptune has two of them. Oh goodness! I put so much of it together. Huh? What dumped you down into the dumps, my cute little sister? If you're in trouble, Neppy and I will be so happy to help. Yeah, yeah! Talk to your big sis about those adolescent girly issues you probably have. Well, I thought we could connect to our dimension without Eastwar, so I was making a new communicator. For real? If we can make that beanie, then we can call up whoever we want, whatever we want. You're so amazing, Neppy Jr. Uh, please don't get your hopes up. I'm still verifying its viability, and I'm missing so many parts. Could that sigh earlier have been because he realized how many parts you're missing? Yep. I can't substitute in any of the parts I already own, and no shop sells what I need here. If I have the raw materials, I might be able to create the parts, but... Just curious, but what materials would you need? If I happen to cross them somehow, I can bring them back. You do that for me? Then here, please procure everything I've written on this handy list. You got it! I'll bring them back as soon as I've got them. One eternity later. Nippity, nip, 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 Junior! We got your materials for that communication thingy! Ta da! Wowie! Thank you so much! I can make some really neat hardware with these materials! Okay, I better stop everything I'm doing and go back to making that device. I'm off, Neptune! Pluidia! I'm so glad Neppy Jr. was happy! Part of it is her tinker spirit, but she must be lonely because she can't chit-chat with Uni and company. Oh! I didn't think about that. Neppy, are you sad because you can't talk to any of your friends? If I had to pick between happy as a clam or sad as a sack of dead clams, I'd be sad. But thanks to you and the noir of this dimension, it's been fun enough that I really don't really mind. That's nice, but it's kind of embarrassing to be told that straight out. The device is complete! Oh! That's complicated. How does one use this device? This is the dimensional tuner. It lets you communicate between dimensions via the end gear. That's ridiculously amazing! So amazing, Neppy Jr. What a major invention. 
So, what does this device connect to? Do you plug it into ISTE? Um, it connects to Uni's terminal. She let me fiddle with it before I expanded its functionality. This device uses my end gear to run the app that I installed on her device back then. Neat, huh? Cool. Nip gear! Again. <sighs> this is overly dramatic. What is the matter, Nipgear? That was quite a dramatic sigh. Oh, Avert! Well, it won't really help me to tell you this, but... How cold of you, my dear. I would do anything and everything for my adorable little sister. Avert... Uh, okay, well, you see, I was actually the main character in the previous Neptunia game. Hmm? You? A protagonist? <laughs> so hard because I just I can't even imagine you in any leaning role <laughs> my how hilarious Ugh, fine I knew I shouldn't have told you <laughs> I apologize I'll listen to you seriously now all right will you really really do you not see how serious my face is now okay then as I was saying I was the main character in the last game, and... <laughs> Did you laugh again? No, I suppressed a sneeze. Please, go on. I was thinking, goodness, I sure am getting treated poorly this time. Did I do something to deserve it? Hmm, that is a difficult question to respond to. I have no such experience of my own to draw from. What do you ex... What you are experiencing is something known as DVC syndrome. <laughs> Oh, to explain, Blah, I want to know what DBZ syndrome is. <laughs> is this is going to be about Krillin. Or Goku. Is this is going to be about Goku. Or Yamcha. Or Tien. Or Chaozu. What the goodness? Blah? Oh, you were you were here. What is this DBZ syndrome you speak of? It's where someone who once had a lead role receives an absurd amount of reverse narrative compensation. Its etymology stems from a man who, even though he went from a hero to father, lost his role as. It is talking about freaking Goku. I've heard such a tale. If I recall, the man kept dying until the very final episode. Or, wait, are you talking about Goku, or are you talking about Krillin? Uh, am I going to end up like that? Uh, does that mean things are just going to get worse for me? The possibility is quite high. To think such a specific syndrome exists. As expected, Blonde knows just about everything. Not everything. I only know the things I know. Huh? D did one of you take my line? But I can't do so- but uh, can't I do something? I definitely don't want to let things continue like this. Just hope for better treatment in the next canonical installment. Which I think is Mega Dimension V2. No way. There, there. It is all a matter of perspective. This may be what raises a flag for the next game. Uh, I see. So if I hit in there through the, this game, I'll get better treatment in the next one. Of course, it's possible that you could be written out of any future installments, too. Broken fannies. Well, Nepgear and Vert finally have a... A coupling skill. Alright, peachy. Scribble, scribble, squish, crunch. Hmm? What you doing, Pico? Drawing? No, go away! You can't see it! W why not? Not even a peek? No, no peeky, Neptuna. Lame. When you say I can't peek, it makes me want to peek even more. Do not interrupt her. She's been hard at work since this morning. Really? Pico's working that hard on a drawing? Now I want to take a peek more than ever before. No means no. What about me, Pico? Can I see? Pluto's not allowed either. And me? Nip, you definitely can't see it. 
I definitely can't, huh? I kindly ask that you refrain from disturbing her. She wouldn't even let us see it. Please be a meanie. Please do not... She does not intend to be mean. Please wait a bit longer. Based on how you worded that, it sounds like you know what she's drawing, Istoar. Yes, I happened to get a very tiny peek a while ago. Stupid unfairsty! I want to see too! And me! If you wait just a little bit longer, Pichi will be ready to show you. Scribble, scribble. There, all done! All done, huh? Can we see it now? Yeah, here! Oh, it's... Uh, is this art? Huh? You don't know, Neptuna? She has drawn all of us, Neptune! This is a beautiful picture of us, her family! Us, huh? Yeah, okay, I see it now. The one in the middle with purple scribbles everywhere is me, right? Yeah, yeah! I see me, and that one's Neppy Jr., and there's Iffy, and Kampa, and a tiny little Isty, too. Oh, okay. I was worried the punchline here would be that she forgot to draw me or something. Hmm. If you're going to draw me, you should have made me look like way cooler. Don't be rude. Thank you, P. This makes me very happy. Your drawing is so good. You did your best, huh? Uh-huh. This picture is a great example of modern art. Well done. <laughs> it's for you, Neptuna. Me? Really? Yep, I'm gifting it to you. I see. Thanks. I'll toss this baby up on the fridge for everyone to enjoy. Pishi's drawing. Is that all of the... Is that all of them, please? Let that be all of them. Alright, Falcom is next. Hiya! Huh, of course it's you out here. You're diligent to be sore training so early in the morning. Oh boy, here we go. I'm not gonna know which Falcom is talking unless one of them changes their fa facial expression as they talk. I make morning practice a daily routine to gain more strength. It's important that I accumulate it day by day. What about you, Falcom? I'm actually the same. If I get even a little lazy, it shows up in my sword. Can't have that. I know, if you'd like, would you want to have a light sparring match? M me and you, Falcom? Yep. I was wondering what kind of sword the me over here on this side uses. If you're okay with facing me, then by all means, let's do it. Her real sword is fine, right? Yes, that way, I can challenge it with the tension closest to real combat. Okay, then let's begin. Yes! Amazing. Even when we're just facing each other, I can feel an amazing spirit. And that stamps. There's no opening. This is the me of another dimension. No, I can't get intimidated. How should I attack her first? Should I guide her movements with a feint? Ah, uh, but this is Falcom. There's no guarantee she'll fall for a feint. On the contrary, she definitely returned with a counter. And then if I don't attack and wait to counter... If you're not attacking, then I'll have to strike first. Huh? Sword movement. A feint? Then I won't fall for... Wait, it's not a feint? No, it's too fast. I won't make it. The point of Falcom's sword is right on my throat. Looks like I get the first point. Ugh, how frustrating. Even when I was properly following the sword's trajectory. One more, please. One more match. Alright, now come at me. This time I'll... Yeah! Too naive. Your sword is too honest. I can easily read it. And then, with this! Ha! <laughs> that won't do at all. Is that all you've got, Falcom? I'll show you my true strength. Whew. To be honest, that was a little dangerous just now. So frustrating. Just a little more and I could have gotten a point. Too bad. Uh, but if you have that frustration, you can get even stronger from here on. I'm sure of it. Then one more. One more round. Please. Ah, those eyes say you're not going to give up until you win. Very well. Until you give up, I'll spar with you as many times as needed. 
From that day on, you could always hear the echo of swords clashing in the wee hours of the Planet of Two morning. Wait, what? I only get two lines? Aww. I didn't even get to tell you guys about my new idol game. Nefkir has an idol game? Probably not. She's too mistreated. <sighs> to my right, wifeys! To my left, wifeys! Wifeys, wifeys everywhere! You never change, Red. Hey, Nefkir, you're in this dimension too? Yes, I followed my sister here. But thanks to my clumsy kid sister, I lost my chance to go back home. Aww. I apologize so many times for that already. Oh, who is this adorable girl? I don't recognize her. Is she an acquaintance of yours? Hello, Bert. Hello, Blanc. This is Red. She came from here from our dimension somehow. This is the other Vert! Yes, I am Greenheart, the CPU of Leanbox. A pleasure to meet you, Red. I'm Blanc, Louise CPU. I'm Red. It's nice to meet you. She is rather petite, but her bosoms are anything but. Tch. To have such girth, even as a child. Is this normal in Neptune's world? It can't be right. Rather, I refuse to acknowledge it. Um, to follow up on Blossom, Red's just a special case. Thank you for that follow up. We're still going to have a nice long chat after this, though. Huh? Oops, Nip Jr. stepped on yet another blom blom. Blonde bomb. I've decided that this blom and this fur are gonna be my wifeys. Heavens, a wife am I? <laughs> what a cute child. Very well, I shall be your wife. I don't care. It kind of soothes my soul to be called someone's wife, male or female. Yay! Double dimension wifey's get! If, if all goes well, I can learn the secret to her size, too. Oh, blot. Still at it. Alright, Tekken's next. Hiya! Alright, I'm gonna pick up the pace of my hits a little. Ready? Let's go! Please wait a second. Can you let me rest a little? My arms really sting. Oh, okay then. Sorry about that. Let's take a short break. Man, you've still got a little ways to go, Nip Jr. Especially when you want to get as good as your big sis. Oh, Neptune. My old sensei. Chip chop, Mr. Onion. <laughs> you used to always say chop block. And the second part's important. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's a Parappa the Rapper reference. That was good. Chip Chop Mr. Onion. Wanna watch me sparkling with Tekken a little? You can learn a, a thing or three. I don't know, Neptune. I think I'm fine. And, and besides, would you be okay? Also, it's not sparkling, but sparring. Eh, I'm fine and dandy like sour candies. Besides, I have been playing a lot of funny games, so I'm good. What? Games? Neptune? Go ahead and punch me full force, Tekken. I am a CPU after all. Sheesh. Understood. Then I'll go full power. Tekken? Oh, I just a. Yeah. Huh? What's wrong, Neptune? Here? Neptune, how are you standing? I thought something really bad would have happened at full force. Eh, this kind of punch doesn't even tickle. For you to hurt from this level of punch, you're still not- ah! Neptune! She's blowing away! Oh no, what should I do? Oh gosh, she completely blew away! Um, um what exactly happened to Neptune? Oh, well, she said I didn't have to hold back, so I tried out this- Lethal punch I'm training with lately. But I had no idea Neptune would go flying. For this long, too. Wow. If you're really this strong, Tekken, to have this much power when you're so thin. Um, Tekken, could you teach me that punch? 
Everyone says I have no personality, but after I learned such an amazing punch, maybe players will finally like me. I think you fight the way you fight now shows a lot of personality here. I think lots of players like you. But I understand. From detain from from today on, we will begin training together in earnest. Alright, teacher. Hey, groundlings, stop yapping and help me. Yep, she's down. <laughs> Alright, Broccoli's next. What kind of store is that gamer shop you were trying to go to, Broccoli? Gamers is a store that sells anime and game character goods, new. I cannot ignore this! Whoa, Bert! Where did you come from? It's very bad for my heart, new. The fact that I appeared suddenly is a trivial problem at the mo is a trivial trivial problem at the moment. Mention anime and video games and I shall come. Is it really? It's not trivial at all, new. So then, about that store. Do they sell games as well? They do, new. They have store benefits as well, new. Besides games, they sell manga and novels too. Very good selection, new. What about PC games? Do they have PC games? And perhaps they carry adult-oriented ones at that? Of course they sell them, new. Hmm. What's wrong, new? It's marvelous. How come I never heard new of such a wonder store before? Before? <laughs> I think there's a typo there. <laughs> Thank you, Stella. It doesn't exist in this world, New. I will be heading to this gamer store right now! Listen to what I'm saying, New. Now then, I shall be taking my leave. Uh, uh, she left New. She did. Why are there so many CPUs that don't listen to people, New? I don't know. Please don't ask me. But I think I'd like to go to a store like Gamers. Broccoli, maybe you could try and start it up in this game industry. That could be really cool. That could work, Mew. If it looks like I'll be in this world long, I'll think about it, Mew. We're only on chapter 6. You're gonna be here a while. Alright, Mages is last. If you think that way... Well then, reasoning with you is like squeezing orange juice out of a potato. There! It was unexpected to find a forum in this world with the exact same name and contents as my world. As usual, however, the f this forum is a good way to alleviate boredom, especially this Fujoshin person. Despite always being on this board, her resistance to instigation is so low I can't help but tease her. Now then, perhaps I will visit N slash Neptubi Haiku. I could use a cheap throw. Ugh! How extremely vexing! What is with that person? Always attempting to spark a flame war! Oh dear. If it isn't the green CPU! You seem quite flustered. What seems to be the problem? Oh, mages. Yes, would you listen to me for a moment? Very well. I do not mind. To be frank, I often visit a certain online forum for fun. However, as of late, there is a newcomer, a newcomer called... Shanest of spells who picks fights with and teases me often. Uh, just now the villain told me that reasoning with me is like squeezing orange juice out of a potato. Uh, hmm? What is suddenly the matter? No, it is nothing. Uh, that is quite dreadful. Isn't it just? Uh, Mages, why don't we team up to get revenge on that newcomer? What? Something wrong? No, I do not know much at all about internet forums, so... Oh? Perhaps I misheard then. I had the impression that when I just entered, you were talking about a certain sub Uh, I believe you misheard. Is that so? Are you sure you do not go on, on internet forums or message boards of any kind? Yes. Hmm... Uh, I see. I apologize for asking so persistently. When does the narwhal begin? Midnight! It's of no surprise to me that you are a trite Nepit user, but 
Alas, we must all begin somewhere. Oh no. Uh, er. How unfortunate. If she heard me saying that to myself, she must have heard the previous. <laughs> you and I are of the same cloth. No need to hide it. You are safe. Let us get along from now on as fellow online forum goers. Er, uh, I yes, let us. Did she possibly not hear that? Hmm? Did you say something? No, it is nothing. So then, let us promptly start digging up ways to get back at that newcomer. I'm glad she didn't catch on. Still, to think that Fujushin was the green CPU. Okay, is that really so surprising? Alright, are there any quests I need to take on that are chapter related? Ah, here we are. I need to kill two, five Koopo Kitties. Now, where are the Koopo Kitties? Is that... Around here? Yep! Let's go! Time to kill Koopo Kitties! Whoops! <laughs> I forgot to mention... I got new... I, I got um, different outfits for the girls. The only one that has one that has... That is, um... Veteran stats is, uh... Blanc. I, I just gave these girls these outfits because I was pretty bored of looking at the same things over and over again. I also got one for Nepgear. And... Plutia. I hope you don't mind. Damn it. Ha! No one. Just two more. Oh, this is all to progress the chapter. So stupid falling through My this. turn. This. Oh, Disappear. Yep, Just a moment. Ha! This victory was. Ex all right, there we go. I really hope you guys don't mind the new outfits. I couldn't resist. I'm hungry! Give me food! If you wait a snack a few minutes ago, be a little patient. You ate a snack a few minutes ago. Be patient. Boom! More pudding now! But the ones that are left are for Nep Nep and her friends. Do not eat that. If Neptune comes home and has no pudding to consume, her rage will be immense. Aww. Huh? I heard a funny sound. Really? I do not hear any. <laughs> uh, Eastwar, I'm getting really sleepy. Me too. <sighs> Indeed, as am I. Shall we take a nap? I'm not sleepy. I want to play. Do not act so spoiled. Children should nap, you see. No, let's play more. And I'm still hungry. Aww, they fell asleep. Huh? Who's there? No strangers allowed! Do not act so uppity, sweetie. Look, I brought you yummy yummy pudding. Wow, you did? You're super cool and awesome for giving me pudding. You gotta be a good robot. Phew, you forgot all about me. I was worried that it didn't work before. But it seems everything will go rather smoothly this time. Pudding! Pudding is awesome! 
Yes, yes, please dig in. I'm glad I brought that other gift in case her immunity has gone up. Wow! One, two, four puddings! Can I eat them all right now? There are only three, but... Sure, eat them at your leisure. Yay! I'll just finish up my own preparations as you do that. Oh dear. Phew! We're done for today! Hey, Steve, we're back! Oh, I've been waiting for you all! What's wrong, Eastwar? It is an emergency! There has been an emergency! And... Well, it is an emergency regardless! Wow, that's a lot of big emergencies! This Basilicom has a, has a lot of emergencies! What is it this time? Are the seven stages at it again? It is not that kind of emergency! It is a very different kind of situation, I am afraid. I do not comprehend. Uh, um... Is it alright if I explain the situation myself? Hello, it's nice to meet you. Whoa, he's so handsome. Wait, I don't even know what he looks like. He's a real hot pocket for sure. Too bad we can only show his silhouette for the viewers, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, am I? Thanks, I'm flattered. Shut up, you two! Cute? Hot Pocket? I mean, he's just a guy! What does that matter? Everyone, please, we need to hear what this handsome man has to say! I apologize. Uh, thank you for the kind words. Today, I've come with a requ with a rather presumptuous request. How long are you gonna talk, Daddy? Come on, let's play! Yes, yes, just a moment, dear. I'm trying to explain things now. Boo! That's boring! Come on, Pico, don't butt in on adults talking. That's not cool. Right. Even though he's your dad, you... Wait, huh? Dad? So, you're her... Yep, he's my daddy. I'm sorry, that's the situation. In other words, you've come to take Pichi home, am I right? Yep, he's here to pick me up. I don't like this. Red flags are up. All the red flags are up. But, no, I don't like this. Me neither. I I'm really sorry, truly. Pishi's gonna go away? I don't want her to go. Goodness, don't cry. We haven't decided on anything yet. I would like for you to go into a little more detail, please. Agreed. Why abandon your kid in the first place? As cliche as it sounds, it was for financial reasons. Both her mother and I had lost our jobs. Around then, I heard this place had started an orphanage, so we entrusted her to you and went off to start over. Come to think of it, Pishi did appear on our front steps one day without any message left behind. That's horrible! And you dare to call that action entrusting her to us! I really do apologize. I just thought she could live happily here, in a basilicon with the CPUs. Afterwards, I found work and our lives began sta became stable again. That's when we remembered our child. So you forgot about her for a while? You got a lot of nerve, you know that? Yes, I know. I understand your frustration, but still. I don't think you get it at all. If I were you, I'd be too ashamed to ever show my face here. Um, stop being mean to my daddy. Hey, ow, don't do that. I have my own misgivings about this, but if Peachy herself wishes for it. Is there any proof to give that you are truly her father? He might be working with the Seven Sages for all we know. He's my real daddy, really. Oh, honey, thank you. Calling someone such as me daddy. He has no proof to offer besides his identification card. It is true that he once lived in Plan Neptune. Pishi, is he really your daddy? He is! You're dumb to ask so many times, Plu. Aww, don't yell at me. So, you'll take Pishi away, just like that, right now. Yes, we are a busy family, so I'm not sure if we'll have another chance. But... Only if she's okay with it. I want to go with you. I want to go home with Daddy. 
Oh man, this is grinding my gears. Pico, do you think this handsome old young man is better than us? What? He's not old. He's daddy. Stop it, Neptune. He's just some dumb old guy to me. An unreliable, pathetic old guy who threw away his unwanted kid. Stop saying bad things about daddy. If you do, I'm not going to like you anymore, Neptuna. Fine, I don't like you anymore, Pico, so there. Enough. You're being childish. Dumb. Neptuna's stupid. A bird has a point, Neptune. You shouldn't fight with someone. And you should be saying goodbye to. Why are you getting on my case? Pico's being the jerk here. No, Neptuna's wrong. Pichy, stop fighting. Hmm, I don't like this. This is getting out of control. Do not say such a thing and make no effort to stop them. I'm sorry, it's my fault. This is all happening because of me. Um, well... Take this stuff- take this with you. It's a stuffed animal I made for Pico. No, I don't want it! Don't! You mustn't pull it- pull it like that! Ah! My head came off! What a jerk! Forget this! I'm never gonna play with you again! Our friendship stat is now zero! I'm never playing with you either! I hate you, Neptuna! Oh, stop it, you two! Ugh, I'm so tired. I can't even move now. I didn't expect Plutia to transform right then. I let down my guard. But, but, none of you were listening to me at all. Heavens, please think of those who, who have to hold you back as well. Uh, no, no, no. Everything is alright. The scary Plutia is gone, you see? Iffy, get a grip! She's really gone, huh? I don't care! She can go wherever she wants, stupid Pico! You are still saying such things! If you're going to be so stubborn, maybe we'll ask Plutia to transform and correct your attitude a bit! <coughs> Stop, all of you! Please don't cause poor IF any further trauma! Now that you're so sad... Neppy, you were closer to Pico than any of us. I'm not sad about it, and we were never that close. Good grief. <laughs> what an ordeal. I wanted to leave that situation in a more intelligent manner, but... Neptuna's stupid. I hate her stupid face. Aw, don't cry. It might be good that she's left the CPUs while carrying some ill will against them. Wow, Daddy grew super big! Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. How long has it been since I've shown my true self in public? Putting on that cheap act. I will receive all the compensation for my actions from this child. Huh? You what? I knew it. No one can stop me! Ugh, well, I'm gonna end the episode there. The next episode, well... We'll see what's gonna happen. Until then, this is the Gamer Girl signing off. Bye bye.